Meghan Markle is close to the Queen with the pair often photographed together laughing, a royal expert has claimed. Jess Cagle, producer of ABC's The Story of the Royals, added the Queen really appreciates what the Duchess of Sussex brings to the royal family. He said, neither of them has gone out and done extensive interviews about their close relationship and what they do on a girl's night out. Meghan Markle's royal baby plans, birth will be natural Meghan Markle exposed what she was like before royal wedding, but you can tell in photos that the Queen is very relaxed around her. The Queen doesn't laugh a lot. It is very, very telling that she seems to relax. I think over the years the Queen, who started out her reign in 1952 actually being criticized for being too cold and certainly suffered the same criticism after Diana died, I think she has got older and wiser and she really appreciates what Meghan brings to the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex is expecting her and Prince Harry's first child which is due towards the end of April. Last week the Queen granted permission for the Duke and Duchess to hire a new member of staff to head up their communications team as they split households from Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. Sarah Latham, Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign adviser, has taken on the role of press secretary and will move to Buckingham Palace to report to the Queen's communications secretary. Until now, both the Duchess of Sussex and Duchess of Cambridge have shared a team at Kensington Palace. Buckingham Palace said in a statement, the Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office, which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage. The new royal household is expected to start operations after Meghan gives birth to hers and Harry's first child, which is due in the spring. Meghan and Harry will be making their big move from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Castle next month.